What's good, YouTube? Alright. This video right now is, um, is this video I'm going to do on my favorite fighter, on Pernell Whitaker. Um, you know, the reason why Pernell Whitaker is my favorite fighter of all time, you know, and I've seen a lot, a lot of fighters, you know, the reason why he's my favorite fighter of all time is because the first dude I've ever seen, the first fight that I ever had any kind of interest in, you know, with the exception of some Tyson earlier, you know, earlier Tyson fights was, was Whitaker and De La Hoya. I could remember being like, uh, I think I was like 12 years old. So it was like 96. I was like 12 years old when, when, when De La Hoya and, and Whitaker were going to fight. Um, I had known who, who De La Hoya was. But I didn't really have an idea who of who Pernell Whitaker was, you know. But HBO had like, at the time they had like the '90s version of like a 24/7, which was like, might have been might have been the night before the fight, or maybe a week before the fight. They had them like both sit down, and they interviewed them and they showed some clips or whatever. Um, and I think I think I was watching it with my mom. You know, and I'm watching this shit, and I'm seeing, you know, De La Hoya is like, you know, this this good-looking dude, and he's smiling, whatever. And my mom's like, oh, you know, she's talking mad shit. She's like, oh, he's cute. He's going to fuck him up, and this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, just ju just to kind of be contradictory to whatever she was saying, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to ride with this dude, Pernell Whitaker. But they had showed some clips also, and they showed some of the shit that this dude did in the ring defensively. And I said to myself, "Damn, man, this dude is, this dude is legit, yo. Like, I, you know, I, I never, I, I didn't really follow the sport like that, you know. I, you know, I only watched like the, like I said, I only really watched, I only really watched Tyson at that time, you know, up until that point when I was a kid, and 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 maybe some, um, maybe like some Chavez fights or some shit like that, but nothing, nothing, nothing really too serious. I, if if we were watching the fights, in my family's house, I was just playing around with the other kids and shit. It wasn't really that, that serious, but, but watching that." that little HBO show is what made me want to see that fight you know so at the time we had like the uh, I don't know if you know what it was like uh, it was called the black box it was like a, a whatever so we were stealing the cable at the time we watched fucking you know you watch all the pay-per-view all the movies all the porno all, you know but we had the black box so you know we had the fight at my crib I was like alright you know I'm, I'm gonna check this shit out Long story short, in my mind, Pernell Whitaker smoked him. Pernell, Pernell Whitaker beat him. You know, and I saw him in that fight, man. De La Hoya was throwing like seven, eight punch combinations, man. And Sweet Pea was just making a miss, making him look bad and making a miss. And I said to myself, I said, damn, yo, this dude, this dude is out of this fucking world, yo. Out of this world. And that's really what sparked what sparked my interest in the sport like that to even pursue it as an amateur and to even watch it like that you know what I'm saying that that's really that fight is what turned me out so to speak to the sport um whenever they would show ESPN classics you know because by you know that back then we didn't have the internet like it wasn't that fast but it, I, I, I would catch this shit on ESPN Classics, him and Chavez, they robbed him. Uh, the Ramirez fight, I, I I got to see on the internet. My my cousins actually got the Pernell with a box set, so I've seen all his fights. But but the Ramirez joint, I got to see on the on the internet. And you know he clearly robbed him, came back and beat him. Robbed him against De La Hoya. But realistically, the dude never lost a fucking fight, man. The, he never lost a fight, yo. And he fought. He fought the best, bro. He fought the fucking best. Yo, this dude never lost a fight. You know, if you want to look at it like that, he fought He fought Trinidad when he was, you know, I, I, I didn't even want him to fight Trinidad. When they announced that fight, man, I said, fuck, yo. Because we already knew he was past his prime. We already knew he was past his prime, you know. And you know what I'm saying? He lost that fight to him. I don't think anybody's really going to hold that against him. You know, but it's a shame, though, man. It's a shame that he don't get... He doesn't get mentioned or looked at in the same light, with the exception of the hardcore guys, hardcore fans, as some of these other guys from the 90s do. 
late 80s and majority of the 90s the, the dude was 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 one of the baddest dudes around it's one of the baddest dudes around and, and the knock on him is that he didn't knock people out and i think that that's bullshit you know i think that that's a bullshit way to look at things man because you know what it, it, if you don't think that his style, because he was defensive, you don't think that his style of fighting was exciting, then you need to have your fucking eyes checked, man. If you don't think that somebody making somebody miss, making somebody miss four, five, six, seven punch combinations, making a miss, making them look bad, look like he's playing with them, and then fucking making them pay for it, if you don't think that that shit is exciting, then I don't, then I don't know, I don't know what what exciting is, you know. I, you know, I, I like I like knockouts. I like knockouts. That shit is cool. You know, I like seeing that shit. But you know, even even Prince Nassim Ahmed, man, when he came when he came out, not to compare Nassim and and and, and Whitaker because I don't want to, you know. Nassim was a, was a good fighter, but he, you know, let's not. But whatever his his style. The point is, is that his style, man. When even when he came out, yo, I fucking said to myself, I said, damn, yo, this the same shit. I said, damn, this dude is fucking crazy man this dude is unreal yo like he he was doing shit that 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 you know the average cat couldn't do granted he was fighting average fighters but to me that style was entertaining yo and to me you know that win that win over that win over Chavez should have been enough to fucking cement him and if not that that win over De La Hoya yo you know or, or well the losses over Chavez and De La Hoya should have been enough to cement his legacy. It should have been enough to where, to where when they even start talking about the greats, his name should pop up immediately, you know? And that, that doesn't always happen with him, you know? So, and I think that's what it is. I think it's because he wasn't knocking jokers out, man. And that's and that's some bullshit, you know? Truth of the matter is, you know, Floyd Floyd's a, Floyd's a defensive fighter. You know, Mayweather's a defensive fighter, but... You know, in, 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 in the lower weights, he had like a 70-something percent knockout ratio, knockout percentage. You know, so he was knocking clowns out. If his knockout percentage was was uh, as low as, as Whitaker's at the time, he might already have a loss on his record. They might have already found a way to fucking, um, to have robbed Mayweather too. You know what I'm saying? Because Whitaker, Whitaker was the same type of... Uh, you could tell that they didn't like him. You could tell they didn't like him. In the interviews and in and, and in the commentary, they would throw they would do the same little underhanded fucking little underhanded slaps they would hit him with when they would ask him a question or you know, they would do the same shit, same shit they do to Floyd, they would do to him. So believe me, if if, if Mayweather if it wasn't for the fact that Mayweather was just knocking people out at the lower weights, he'd probably have a loss on his record already. You know? Any fight that went the distance, if he was if he was sitting there and just you know and, and and not throwing a whole lot of punches and being defensive and counter punching, you know he he would have probably lost the fight already. But that wasn't the case with him. It's only now it's only now that 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 he's come up in weight and yeah he ain't knocking a whole lot of people out anymore. But he's a household name. He's a household name. So guess what? You try to rob Mayweather, you know. There's going to be, see, I don't know if there be that much of a public outcry. A lot of people don't fucking like him, but it'd be hard to rob him because he, he beats people pretty decisively. He beats people pretty decisively. It's not, a lot of times, it's not even that close, you know, with the, with the exception of the Castillo fight. But but back to Pernell, man, like, yo, the dude, the dude, I mean, I just I just feel that, you know, he, he just, he, he put he put me onto the sport, bro. Put me onto the sport. I always followed him, yo. Know, as I got older, I made sure that anytime I could catch one of his fights, I could check one of his fights out. I did, yo. Know, and 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 he, his style of boxing for me was the most uh, visually pleasing for me. And and he and he was just nasty, man. He the dude, the dude was just a beast, yo. Know. He was just a beast. And I think that 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 people need to. You know, if you haven't seen a whole lot of his fights, you need to go out there and, and watch some shit. So you want to learn about defense? We we already, you know, we already saying Floyd was Floyd's the best defensive fighter of all fucking time, and you know my man just my man just left. He only left fucking 10, 11 years ago. He just got out the game, you know. And I'm not saying that Floyd's not a, be, a better defensive fighter. I'm not. I'm really not trying to say that because Floyd. 
that'd be tough, man. But but shit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you you know, you gotta at least he gotta be in the discussion. Gotta be in the discussion. Gotta be, you know, discussed heavily before you make before you jump out the window and say some shit like that. You know, um, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, you know, I don't I don't want to I don't want to ramble on and on about the shit, man. But you know. That's what it is, man. That's that's my favorite fighter. That's why it's my little icon. I got I got his boxing trunks up there. Um, Zab Judah Zab Judah came out here to fight uh, Mabuza when uh, when Whitaker was 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 helping training him. I made sure I got the tickets. So it's only, it's only like 15 minutes away from here. I make sure I got the tickets. I make sure I got to uh, to see him, man, because I never got to see one of his fights as a kid. But made sure I got out there and I and I and I, and I supported you know, And you know, I I hope that I hope he does. Um, at some point find his way and maybe in somebody else's camp and maybe find a way maybe maybe it wasn't a perfect fit with Zab but maybe he could find his way back into boxing you know because you know they kind of they kind of like just you know he don't even he, he don't even get to he don't they don't give him no commentary spot they don't he really you know they kind of just wiped them off the face of the fucking or off the off the map you know and I think dude I think dude he he he, he needs to be um I think people need to they need to put them put things into perspective and put them in the same light and in the same category as a lot of the other greats or at least at least the greats of the 80s and the 90s. I think he got you got to put that motherfucker right up there with the rest. I don't see why not. You know, there's people <laughs> people will rank Chavez above him. A lot of people, a lot of people will rank Chavez above him. You know, they'll have Chavez somewhere in their in their top top 20. Maybe, maybe they might even have him in the top ten, and it'll take a long time before they before they mention Pernell Whitaker. And I think that's bullshit. I think that's bullshit because I think Pernell Whitaker. I think Pernell Whitaker whipped on his ass, so that shit wasn't even close. That shit wasn't even close, you know. So how you gonna have Ch Chavez ranked above him, you know? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's that's it is what it is, man. That's my that's my favorite fighter. Let me know who your favorite fighter is. You know, let me know what you think about the video, yo. I'm not going to cut myself off this time either. I'm going to find a way to end the video at the right fucking time.